All right, so now I have taken um, a motor and I'm gonna talk to you just a little bit about outputs. So let's look at, I have that plugged in to M1 okay, because all I've done here is a lamp. All right, and so I'm not gonna, I, this time I'm using it as a motor. I could use it as an output. And if I turn, use my test interface and turn it on, my light comes on. And see, I can also change the brightness as I turn the numbers down. You see, I can get it brighter and dimmer. Then when I stop it, it'll go off all together. So what's the next thing we can think about doing, right? Um, you have a variety of outputs available to you there, but let's think about um, what some of our options are, okay? Um, let's think about a photo transistor. So I'm gonna connect a photo transistor, and a photo transistor has polarity. You can see on the photo transistor here that one side is marked in red. Photo transistors look a little like a light bulb. So I plug those in. And now I have, I'm gonna make my connections here. And I've gotta to go to my test interface. And I need to change but my input to, it is a digital 5 kilo ohm. So now um, I'm going to turn my light on using my test interface and I'm going to look at my photo transistor and see what happens. So when I have them across from each other, if the photo transistor sees the light, the test interface will be a 1. When it doesn't see the light, it is a zero. So I have them lined up and it sees it. Now, sometimes you have a problem with your photo transistor and you need to test your photo transistor before you start using it to be sure you have it wired correctly. Again, this is a sensor that knows its head from its rear end. It has polarity in other words. So if you're using it and it's not working, you may have the polarity reversed. So if I had plugged it in like this, okay, when I shine the light on it, you'll see on my test interface, there's no one. I have to get, I get super close and I might, if I get lucky, get one, but I don't because the polarity is reversed. Right, so when you do that, you just need to change the pins, but you have to check it first to be sure that it is working. So you could use this, sorry, my plugs are a little loose. So you could use this like a digital switch and you could let something break it. And if you used it in this configuration, it'd be normally closed. The output right now is a one. And when something came in between them, it would break it and be a zero, okay? So that's a photo transistor for you.